I'd like to share with you what I have learned in my journey so far in voicing for video games. I just don't want to see people going through the same shit that I did. I know what you must be thinking. This sounds plus 10 exciting. Sounds like a fun career I could easily get into. It sounds like making lots of money. <laughs> I only had a couple of cents. Before you run out to buy a cheap mic to fulfill your dreams of becoming a world famous voice actor for video games, making tons of money, I want to give you some information from my mm -hmm, experiences so that you don't repeat the same mistakes or go in with some weird expectations or delusions. Again, similar to what I've had. Basically, I don't want you to fail because if I went through some of this stuff, there's a good chance you will too. But before I dive into the lols and the nerfing of the voice acting world, I want to thank you for your subscribes and your comments and likes over the last week. I see them all, I read them all, I respond personally. I'm not a bot that just auto responds. That is weird. Yes, I saw you. Let me just read SVD, FXD on my Moving to Sydney video. Thank you. So wait for my roll credits at the end. You're all stars and deserve some appreciation and a credit and a cookie because I love baking. Oh, guess what I did last night? No, it's not what you're thinking. I made cookies. So I bought M&M peanut version and stuck them in as I baked a cookie and thought, come on, M&M peanuts, that'll be, that'll be all right. So thank you. This is for you. Look, I'm just gonna grab that. Oh God, I'm gonna have to clean that up later. Here you go. Oh, you're making a mess. In addition to giving you a face full of virtual cookie just then, I also wanted to share some information so that we can discuss the not so talked about voice acting truths in video games, the inevitable stuff that you will learn so that right now you can hear about it now so that you don't have to painfully learn as you go and feel like you're on your own in the whole process. Round one, you will have studios book and record you for a role and then recast it without telling you. This has happened to me at least twice and I didn't know this is something that is quite common in the video game voice acting world. So when the game comes out and you're all, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to see it. I put all my soul into this. And you listen to it, whether it's the trailer or it's the actual game, and it's not your voice. Don't freak out. It happens. Fight the black hole that sucks you in and makes you a grumpy person the longer you're on this planet. <laughs> Get off my lawn! Resist the pull of becoming bitter and twisted from life's experiences. I'm going to get brutally honest here because that's what I want to create on this channel is honesty with you. It sucks when your voiceover work doesn't end up making the cut. And it's not even about the pay. You better make sure you're getting paid because it's not about the money. It's about being part of something. It's about co-creating with other people in a project that was exciting for you, working with others on something that's so cool. So when you get recast, it feels like utter shit. Not gonna lie, you're going to have those emotions and have those feelings. Just have them all in private. <laughs> Don't go on social media. Do not contact the studio when you're still in that emotional state. Tip. But as this channel is about positive momentum and moving forward, we're not gonna hang on the shit's bow for too long. What I've learned and what I'm still learning is that it's nothing to do with you as an actor. It's not because you sucked. It's not because you should have become a doctor like your parents told you to, loser. No, it's because the studio more often than not have a bunch of chefs in the kitchen. It's not just up to one person or two people to make a decision. So many decisions are being made by all different people in different aspects of the game after you have voiced that role. So-and-so decided that they wanted a different character accent. Nobody told me that this is not uncommon in the video game industry. It wasn't until I spoke with, fortunately, I love to learn from people who are doing much better than me, better, you know. They're further on in the voice acting for video games industry than I am because I spoke to a, an award-winning actor who told me he faced and experienced a similar circumstance. He, and I thought, gosh, if an A-lister voice actor is experiencing this kind of stuff, and I have, why doesn't anybody talk about it? I guess, you know, there's that risk of you coming off as being, you know, a bitter and twisted actor who didn't get their voice in the role. And nobody wants to be that person, but 
So I think that's probably why this kind of stuff isn't talked about. But I want to create that space here so that you know what you're going to possibly be experiencing. And one of the biggest reasons I've found for this, just the sheer lack of communication with voice actors or the decisions to recast and you're not told about it, is surely due to the time constraints that game studios are under. Once you've been around long enough to see outside the box of just what your role is as a voice actor, you learn about what other people are doing in the video game industry to create a game. I've got hair in my mouth. So there are so many other moving parts in, in the studio well before a voice actor comes on board and the time constraints, you heard of that classic crunch time, that's when game devs, it's a horrific experience <laughs> from what I have learned. There are businesses who treat their staff like crap um, just to push through the timeline and make the money. We, I think we've all been part of that. The game industry, the timelines are so tight. For example, when I get called in to um, audition, I send off my demo and usually if they like my voice and they want to book me, they want to record that day or the next day. It's that fast. So you don't have to learn a script in voice acting, but you have to be familiar with it. But often scripts are still being tweaked on the fly as you're in the studio. Sometimes the character or the, the script hasn't been fully developed. So you're co-creating with the studio, which is lots of fun. But again, that's just reflective of Poor teams, they don't often have a lot of time to work with to try and push out a game. So as a voice actor, if there's a recast, it is not personal, it's business. It's such a cliche, but it is so true. You will spend more time in voice acting admin work than actually voice recording. What I mean by this is the time it takes for you to audition is going to take up probably 90% of your life as a voice actor. So it's a very small percentage of the time in your life where you will be in the studio recording for a paid video game voice role. And now with a lot of work being recorded remotely, you're gonna be live directed remotely from a studio in other countries around the world. You'll be required to be recording your own audio, monitoring your levels, exporting the files, making sure that the file that is exported is with the standards, the deliverables that the studio has requested, and also, Often some of the more indie studios will want you to split your audio file according to lines of dialogue and name those lines of dialogue a particular way. You can be asked to do things like that. So a lot of your time is not actually spent recording. It's in all of those admin -y things. You probably see a lot of Instagram and TikTok videos where I'm just going to demonstrate here with a pair of headsets. Um, <laughs> you'll see stuff like this. Microphone you know, cans on the head and voicing into a microphone and making it look like that's what a voice actor is doing for most of their day, seven days a week, they're having a blast and voicing into it. No, that's marketing. That's not showing the full picture. That's 1% of a voice actor's job. And most of the time, what you'll be doing are not gonna be Instagram worthy posts. It's really not. <laughs> So don't feel alone if you're all by yourself thinking, I am losing at life. My life doesn't look like that person's Instagram feed or TikTok video. I have learned to not chase the delusion that my life should look a certain way as a voice actor. It just doesn't look like that fancy image. The truth is you don't see those Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, social media posts of a voice actor chasing up a client who hasn't paid their bills in over 30 days or a clip of you going to your day job because you didn't book any voice work that week and you don't have a rich boyfriend or family member or girlfriend or what, whoever to back you up financially because that stuff isn't sexy. It just kills me that my fellow voice actors, a lot of them tell me that they talk to themselves like because they still have a day job or that their ratio of booking is one in 75 auditions. It is a tough business, but the one thing to know is that you're not a fail for supporting yourself. That's a life win. Hard truths don't sell dreams, but they do save you time, money, and mental health. That's the other thing with video game voice acting is it's stuff or starve, it's flood or drought. You'll get booked for these roles that pay good money, but you have to budget it out because you could go for two months without booking anything in video games. This is also why a lot of voice actors diversify their voice acting. It's not just I don't voice purely video games. I also do e-learning and government videos and stuff like that because it helps stabilize your voice acting career. It takes years to see any progress. This is where your need to define what success looks like to you is critical. If you don't know what your version of success is, it's going to be really hard to hit it and you'll just feel like crap because you don't 
feel like you really made it. Patience is a muscle that you just have to learn to build by simply doing it, practicing patience. There's no app for this. There's no shortcut. There's no look at me in my garage with my patience hack for you to use. It's just doing it, learning to love the process because that's all you've got. It's also so you don't give up after hundreds of attempts. There's got to be something more than just the money to keep you going. I made jack for about three, three years in, I was, hey, at least this year I earned a thousand dollars instead of the two hundred dollars last year. <laughs> don't feel discouraged if you don't get a lot of bookings. It's just a patience. It's just a numbers game with everybody having the attention span of three seconds now, thanks to multitasking and doing 15 things at once. That's developed a really strong muscle for distraction. So you're going to need to learn discipline. Whip it. Not that kind. Well, that might help. Just being good at persistence and consistency as I incrementally head towards my goals. And you need to have some goals because the weird thing is the brain keeps shifting the goalposts. So you never feel like you reach your goal. You have to somehow find reward in the process of working your way towards the goal, not the goal itself. First of all, you start out thinking, I just want to build my little home studio and you do that. And then straight away, it's like you don't even blip. It's gone. OK, got that. Oh, I want to audition for something. Blip, got that brain. You do that. You don't celebrate. You're like, oh, because it doesn't feel satisfying. I need to book a role. You book a role. Oh, I want to book a role that doesn't pay peanuts because I realized last time my landlord didn't accept a bag of peanuts. I need actual cash. Then it's landing a video game character. Then it's landing a big studio name video game character. And then it's landing more than one. And then it's having an IMDb profile list of credits that are really awesome. Then it's oh, my gosh, it never stops therapy. I haven't had it yet, but I wonder if it's any good. Um, drop a comment below. That's, did you hear that? Oh, meow. I'm just going to have a little visitor in the studio right now. Yeah, drop a comment if you have had therapy and you found it of benefit. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. If you can't stomach the idea of waiting for five years, then maybe voice acting isn't for you. There are plenty of other jobs in the video game industry. The list goes on. So I've had many wake up calls in the video game voice acting space. You will also be learning as you go through your career, but hopefully I have shared enough that you at least have a heads up. So that's it. I'm going to go eat a cookie now and I'll go for a walk. You're welcome to join me. I'll keep rolling for you. Otherwise, keep being awesome and goodbye for now. <laughs>